Okay. I was just clipping Aura's nails. Uh, I just use these cheap clippers here. And a lot of people ask me how to clip a German Shepherd's nails. So I thought I should go get my phone and take a quick video of it. I already clipped a couple of them. As you can see, her nails are a bit longer than they should be. But uh, let me get a better picture of her back foot. She tolerates me clipping her nails because I've done it so many times and she knows that afterwards she gets to go for a walk and it's a good experience. Um, when I get dogs a puppy, I'm constantly playing with their feet. Any chance I get, I, I get in there and I just pet all around and pull on stuff and make sure they know I'm not going to hurt them. She still doesn't like it, but she does tolerate it. So, here's a nail that needs to be cut. I believe this part's called the quick, right here, this little area. You don't want to cut that, but you can just go right here and pop. Just quick little cuts. move the camera a little bit see this one here there's all this empty space right here just want to clip that off the best time to clip a shepherd's nails is right before you take them for a walk um, I live on a, um, a six acre lot so there's no there's no pavement here but I do take her for a walk at a place where um, she goes for a nice long walk on the pavement and she just naturally files her nails back down on the walk. So hopefully, yeah, right there. All that is extra right there. In the event, eventually, if you have clipped enough dog's nails, you'll... Uh, inevitably cut one a little bit too short your dog will probably yelp it's not that big of a deal you're all done Aura you're all done how was that is it okay you gonna sniff this you gonna sniff that no. come here <whistles> give me a good girl okay sit sit down Good girl. Plots. Plots. Good girl. So in the event you do cut one a little bit too short, you can um, you can take the nail and you can put some flour on the end of it. Um, of course, they'll probably try to lick it off. But uh, you can put a sock over. You can put flour in a sock, just flour like you have in your kitchen, and just kind of put it on the end there. And that will help uh, clot the blood or something. It helps it helps the bleeding stop. I've had to do it with Aura about two times in her life. You know, she's seven years old. Let me try to show you what the end of the nail will look like after it's clipped. That right there is about as good as you can get it. I just got the very end of the quick on some of these. Now we're going to go for a nice walk and get them all filed down that way if she itches herself or scratches herself later she's not completely um you know she's not going to scratch herself too badly if she does you know she could get a, a skin infection from breaking the skin and getting bacteria in there so we definitely want to get them filed down i've never filed them down i just take her on a good walk we're going to go walk for about two or three miles here in a second and that's it there's a couple of our chickens hanging out or does really good with the chickens come here we'll go walk by them so you can see and this is only because oh she knows she's going for a walk all right come here come here we'll go for a walk in a second come here 
She's just looking at me like, why aren't we going for a walk? All right, here. Okay, all right, sit. Sit down. Pots. Good girl. So I have a separate video about chickens and German Shepherds, but uh, basically, I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, but German Shepherds usually want to kill chickens when they meet them, but they can indeed be trained to leave the chickens alone and coexist with the chickens once in a great while. She'll kind of fake them out like she's going to attack them, but she doesn't. She's, she's good with the chickens now. All right, you ready to go for a walk? Okay. <laughs>